Hi, this is Frank. Today we're testing the Chameleon Power Compensator on the F-Loop 3.0 and it is conveniently remotely controlled. We will crank up the power to 30 watts CW with the IC7300 to see how the SWR measures and also make my first 40 watts single sideband contact on this loop. The loop will be at a safe distance of 45 feet. It is connected with a Ethernet cable and the controller can rotate the stepper motor with eye precision, which is awesome. So stay tuned. The main focus of this video is on the Chameleon Power Compensator, but since I teased you, I will give you a quick summary of the remote controller that will be featured in a future video. It is fully custom made. It uses a NEMA 17 stepper motor, runs at 800 steps. The microcontroller is a Arduino Nano connected to an overrated TB6600 motor controller. The motor requires four pins and each of the pins are doubled on the RJ45 connectors at both ends, which reduces voltage and current losses. This allowed us to reach 45 feet distance so far. The kit works very well and I will make a video just for you on that topic later. But for now, let's look at how well the power compensator can handle a 30 watt CW signal. I was initially not comfortable putting 30 watts full duty signal in my F Loop 3.0, but I did trust Chameleon. Okay, so now 40 meters, we have uh, okay, two watts for tuning. So I'm going to use the up and down button. I'm going to key down, I'm on CW here. I'm in a low speed so tune we have over two so i would go the opposite way go down to see how precise it is tuned so at this point uh, we're going to go to 10 watts cw key down then tune look spray down going to 20 watts cw key down no swr and 30 watts Zero or yeah, zero. So 30 watts CW fine tuning. So if I want to go, this is slow speed. When I go here, I'll do back in the center. And now it resets the Arduino to be a standard speed. So you'll see it move uh, faster. See it's gone. Uh, it's coming back the way. Okay, now on. 80 meters, 36, 20, 2 percent. Going key down and see how much is the SWR in my low speed. Super easy there. So I'm going to get that to 10 watts. Key down. And then I'm going to go 20 watts, a bit slower. And then at uh, 30 watts, 1.2 SWR, 30 watts. So working great. I also tried the 20 meter band and it tuned 1.1 to 1 with also 30 watts. So it worked well. Then I wanted to test the single sideband and see who I could talk to with 40 watts. I called CQ maybe four times and this nice gentleman responded. Kilowatt Delta Zero Yankee Sugar Whiskey. CQ, CQ, CQ. Okay, I got a Kilo Delta. Come again. Uh, kilowatt Delta Zero Yankee Sugar Whiskey. QSL, I did not read. I going to get you your uh, signal back uh, at your next transmission. Uh, so back to you. Frequency in use, KS0 EEA. Yep. Uh, frequency is in use, over. Thank you, boy. 
The frequency is in news. The frequency is in news. Yeah, I told him the same thing. Uh, yeah, thanks for picking me up this evening. You're coming in about a 5859 here in Minnesota. Mike, November, over. QSL 5859 in Minnesota. QSL, very good. Uh, I'm currently at 40 watts with a magnetic loop. So yes, you're, you're a very, a very good. Again, I did not look at the meter. I could say you're about a, a nine plus. Back to you. Yeah, I've used a lot of magnetic loops. Love the antenna, wonderful antenna. I've probably got about three of them. Very nice antennas and uh, work really well if you got the uh, low space and unbelievable contact sometimes. Really, really nice uh, what they can do. I always enjoyed them. But anyhow, you're coming in great. No problem at all. Nice, clear signal. Over. So there you have it. If you're still watching, take the time to click the like button. It takes time to make these videos. Liking encourages me to make more. Stay tuned for a future video where I update the remote controller so it can actually automatically tune the loop. I will show you how it works. Until then, good luck on the bands and 73. Now I'll go to minimal speed. Now you may see it doesn't move, but it, it does move. I put my hand on it and I can feel the movement. It's super, super sharp, super micro step. So I can then bit faster and so on. So it's very precise up to full speed that I've set there. Back to normal. So I have a reset button. I can go back to the usual speed. Uh, very well so it's easy to tune